All right, so the Vancouver Canucks have made their very first selection here in the 2020 NHL Entry Draft. Apologies for the lack of videos for all the teams that I cover because my software recording here on the computer kind of crashed on me. It sucks. But we're back up, we're running, and we're talking about Yoni Yermo today. The brand new Vancouver Canucks acquisition. He's a guy taken here in the third round in a draft where the Canucks didn't have a first that was sent over to the Tampa Bay Lightning for JT Miller, which in turn was sent over to New Jersey, which became Shakir Makamadoulin. Then it was their second, which was sent over to the LA Kings for Tyler Toffoli. That pick was eventually traded to New York in exchange for Elias Anderson. Funny connections there. But the Vancouver Canucks first pick of the draft comes 82nd overall. It is Yoni Yermo, a big left-handed defenseman whom I'm absolutely in love with. I am so happy to have this guy as a part of the organization. Take a look at this. He was supposed to go so much earlier in the draft. 46 by EP, 53rd Future Considerations, 68th by Craig Button, 73rd McKean's, 20th overall by European Skaters for NHL Central Scouting. Then you have 57th by Dauber and Cam Robinson, 60th by TSN and Bob McKenzie. What you get with Yoni Yermo is a very fluid, very fast, very efficient puck rushing defenseman. This is a guy whose main strength is his ability to headman the puck, rush it out himself with control, enter the offensive zone, and take it out of his own zone in general. He's a very weird breed of defenseman because you don't normally see guys who are big like Yermo be able to skate like Yermo and carry the puck out like Yermo. 28 points in 43 games played for the Jokerit Junior 20 team last season. This year, because Jokerit isn't in the Liga, they're in the KHL, he's playing with the JYP Yavaskula team in the SM Liga. He's got two games played, zero points, but hey, who cares? He's 18. He's a guy who was born all the way back in April of 2002, so he's a young guy for this draft, and he is a guy who definitely does have his own very unique skill set. Let's go over to a few scouting reports over here. Actually, the first one here on Elite Prospects. It talks about how his main strengths are carrying the puck from one zone to the next. You've got his ability of speed, his acceleration, his ability to go into the neutral zone with control. We only really have one defender on the Vancouver Canucks on the team right now who is able to do that who was able to take the puck in his own end and skate it out himself with control, and that's Quinn Hughes. Now, I'm not going to say that Yoni Yermo is Quinn Hughes. Absolutely not. That is not what I'm saying here. But what I'm saying is the projectability in that style, the way he's able to carry things forward. We don't have too many guys who can do that. So having another guy in the organization who is a brand new pickup here, take a look at some of the scouting reports from the HockeyWriters.com, his strengths, skating, shooting, size, puck control, decision-making, and defensive awareness. Those are the things that he has to improve upon. He is a guy who, if you pan out properly and you develop him properly, you allow him to learn the game in the defensive zone and how to actually control the puck that way. This is a guy who has a really sky-high ceiling, and for a guy who was supposed to go earlier in the draft, I'm very, very happy to see this guy taken by the Vancouver Canucks here at 60 or excuse me, not 60, 82nd overall when he was supposed to be somebody taken in the 40s, 50s, 60s by most scouting outlets over here. This is a steal. I think this is a good pick. Definitely not a guy that I thought would have been available this late into the draft, but I'm good with it. The Vancouver Canucks were apparently going for a goaltender, and it was reported, I believe, by Thomas Strands that according to sources, that goaltender was taken by Pittsburgh earlier on in the draft, so the Canucks weren't able to go with the goalie that they wanted. We already spoke about that in the previous video, the Canucks wanted a goalie. But now it is Yoni Yermo, the newest Vancouver Canuck, and a guy that I'm absolutely stoked to see in this organization. Talk to me in the comments if you think about this draft pick. I hope you enjoyed this video. So that's Ross 99. And bye.